As the Ukraine-Russian war continues overseas, two local high schools are doing what they can to help those in need. I can't go over there and fight for them, so just helping out with the very least, it's the decent human thing to do. From now until March 9th, Pike Central and Prestonsburg High Schools will be accepting donations to help Ukrainian refugees across seas. As part of the aid collection, Mountaintop spoke with teachers and students about why they chose to help. We really just wanted to help. We, we cover uh, current events in my class quite a bit uh, and in Gretchen's as well. And uh, obviously this is a big major world event. Um, and like I told the students, this is something that you know, their children is probably going to see in, in, uh, in their history book. So, um, you know, we just felt like it was our time to, you know, help as, as far as our American duty to help. Um, so with the students, uh, we, and the National Honor Society and JAG, uh, we got in contact with Matthew 25 Ministries, um, who is uh, going to personally take this uh, to the Polish border and uh, help out as many refugees as possible. And while students continue to gather supplies, Brewer says it's refreshing to see students empathize with such a great cause, adding the troubles students face during COVID-19. It's very refreshing to see our kids have empathy yes. for others, and we hope that we can continue to instill that in them. And um, we also hope that our local businesses will get on board with this um, project yeah, and if they would like to donate any items to this cause we would love for them to bring those by here and they can just drop them in our front lobby. At Pikeville Medical Center we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Afterwards, students described their involvement in the collection and why they decided to help. I just thought it would be like really nice to like help the people out there because like we obviously like have the resources and they don't. So like we thought it would be re really nice to contribute to them. And then we took it to our we are officers of JAG, so we talk, So we we took it to our teacher that runs the, the JAG program. We took it to her, and just so we could get more people involved and see what the, see what they could do with it. There's a lot of people who've been displaced by this war. There's hundreds of thousands of refugees, and they're moving to very small communities and very small countries that uh, aren't equipped very well to handle such a crisis. So it's definitely important just because uh, you want to obviously help other people. I mean, everybody wants to help other people, but uh, what they're going through right now, just losing like uh, lack of resources, like maybe uh, water bottles, anything like that, or uh, blankets, something that they could use that they may be lost in like uh, a bombing in their house or anything like that. So it's definitely be helpful for them. As teenagers, we can't really fathom how big of a deal this is and how hard it must be to deal with it. Um, and it's really just, honestly, it's the least we could do. Um, just doing something is better than sitting by and doing nothing. And it's just, it's a really nice opportunity just to help out. Even though you don't know them, it's always nice to do a really kind thing. Needed items for the collection include personal care products, paper products, and first aid items. Items can be dropped off at both Pike Central and Prestonsburg High Schools until March 9th. Reporting from Pike and Floyd Counties, I'm Joel Cordial with Mountaintop News.